I'm Kavya Mane from Pune. I'm practicing Sahaja Yoga for the last 21 years. I was given to Sahaja Yoga, I felt, yeah, this is the thing what I was looking for. This is ultimate. There is nothing beyond this. And after that, I started going to the center and I started enjoying this meditation. The emoji team, music of joy team came there. And when we, we, when we shared the experiences with them, the way they were behaving there, the way they were conducting their programs, I was so much impressed that I had the desire of coming to Australia. It come what may, the first thought which Srimataji has given us, first thought is divine. We must go to Australia only whenever we, the visa comes through. If she told me, Kata, do you do you understand what has happened, what Srimataji has planned for us? That Australia is Muladhara of the whole world and you have been called for Sarasarade Puja. So, Muladhar to Sahasrara, the whole journey she has taken care of. I am Mrs. Madhuri Mane from Pune, Maharashtra, India. I came in Sahaja Yoga in 1996. I am Dr. Saini from Karnal, Haryana, India. 6th May 1990 in Karnal. And since then, I am lucky to be in Sahaja Yoga. I am lucky to be here in your company in the land of Uluru. The Australia is land of my dreams from my childhood itself. So, Mother blessed me this chance to come here and talk to you all. My name is uh, Madhuri Rashinkar and I am from Pune, Maharashtra. Uh, I following this path of Sahaja Yoga from uh, 2000. To uh, Salt Lake. It is a dry. Mother blessed us here. Another Shiva. Shiva is nearby. And uh, this was his place. Sheet, which is um, of Shiva like Himalayan white peaks. Then from there, believe me, each and every step and angle and corner, we were getting different type of views. Sometimes so many deities there. My vibrations, I can't express. I feel it that, that it was so nice, so vibrating and so cool, calm and quiet, just enjoy and enjoy and see we in. While talking, walking, we were in that meditative mode only. Salt Lake there, it is also very tremendous. That Shiva's place, really my heart was I don't know what happened. It was uh, pumping like anything with joy. I was very happy there. And all the, the chakras was open and all the flow was coming out there. Really, I am... Mount uh, Connors, that is uh, Shiva. Uh, Mount Shiva and uh, when we are approaching towards Mount Shiva so many so much of vibrations the intensity went up tremendously it cannot be described then I close my eyes when I close my eyes then what I realize that there is nothing the body is not there the mind is not there nothing is there it is like a flute vibration is just passing through without any interruption they are just going from top to bottom bottom to top and they are, they are going to and fro, everywhere only, only vibrations. I, I, I got that floating experience, as if I am floating in the air, and Srimatha is there in front of us, Mount Shiva is there in front of us, 
and Mount Shiva is calling you. So when we reached there, when we sat for the uh, uh, meditation, our main aim of meditation is to go into thoughtless awareness and enjoy the vibrations. Yes, we got that. Kratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Shubhaka we went to Uluru and um, it is 2000 kilometer distance but Hari, um, Mr. Hari Gaikwad was telling me we will do flight but I, I saw the vibrations there was, there was no vibrations for um, going with uh, air airport uh, sorry in uh, fly but I feel vibrations by road, go by road. So I told him, no, vibrations are not there to go by flight. So, okay. Then we hired a car and we went. But in between four o'clock, I uh, told everybody, oh, four uh, it is morning four o'clock, I'll do my meditation. And I went, I went in meditation and I have vision that time. I went in my meditation, I went to somebody's house. It was a small house and Indian ladies were there. And also Shri Mataji was there. And I surprised, oh Shri Mataji, you are here. And I bowed down to Shri Mataji. Shri Mataji gave me blessings. And uh, I told Shri Mataji, Actually, we are uh, going to Ekadasha Rudra. No, no, not Ekadasha Rudra. Uh, you told no that uh, Swayambhu is there, Uluru. So we are going there. Uh, actually, Hari Bhau was uh, doing um, flight booking, but I told no, um, not vibrations to go by uh, a plane, but vibrations are coming to go by road. That's why we are going. So Shimataji laughed. <laughs> Thereafter, um, uh, I was talking with Shimataji and I came out. Shimataji along with me came out and she lied down on uh, a cement platform. So I uh, told Shimataji, Shimataji, okay, we are leaving. Uh, please keep us in your attention because uh, this journey is very hard. So long distance, Shri Mataji just do her hand, move like her hand, okay, go. And we went and all the way, I know Shri Mataji was with us. Hmm? What was your lots, when you got there? Yeah, lots of vibrations. And, uh, that is 2000 kilometer distance, but never um, tired, no, just like a butterfly, we went there lightly and we. Uh, get uh, Sri Ganesha's darshan and lots of vibrations. Hmm? Then we went, uh, then we came back, we had our lunch and uh, everything, and then. 
uh, we went to Nandi, then Adi Shakti. So full of vibrations. Hmm. I feel Shri Mataji is here with us, really. And I enjoyed that vibrations and we came back yesterday night. This uh, the forehead on that rock. I don't know what happened. I really, I don't know what happened. My muladhara was. I feel it is brightened, 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 and the inside, all um, oh, reddish light was full of in my body. That time I felt that. It was amazing, amazing. I am following uh, Sahaja Yoga from so much uh, years, but that experience I felt first time in my life. Oh, as soon as we were nearing it, I can tell you now also I feel something shivering in my body. And uh, I'm not simply saying it, I'm feeling it. When I first glance of the Uluru, oh, it was because it had been my dream to come to this place. In my, beyond my expectation, beyond my explanation, beyond my uh, description, I can't see anything. Simply feel inside, that was the really a blessing moment for me. Mother gave me that chance to meet her son so long from India here. And, and uh, I found some words written there which belongs to Sanskrit and Hindi and other Indian languages. I'll say one word. Kuniya. It is written there. The meaning of Kunya is water snake. From the root that is India. So it, from India they came to Malaya and Malaya to here. And their culture, their uh, dancing, uh, their uh, language. Very silent, chirping of words cool breeze flowing and complete calm and quiet. I was alone that time because my friends, but I remained behind to enjoy that. I was just looking like this, all around Ganesha's uh, trunk and so many, ah, I can't express. It is beyond my expression. There is no power in my words which I have got to explain it. It was amazing. I never felt that I, I will be able to finish this journey, but safe and sound. Uluru, Swayamu, Ganesha. But not in actually, but I felt it very much. All the vibrations, being in collectivity. After the Easter Puja, we decided to go for Uluru. Earlier, we were very keen that we must go by air. But then now, today, I can turn back and say, yes, we are lucky enough to go by road. We enjoyed the complete countryside. Mind you, at one of the places, the whole Kangaroo family was standing there to receive us. Then the elephant god sleeping there. The Ganesha is sleeping there. From this angle, from that angle, from that angle, from that angle, everywhere, whatever, whether it is small, uh, smallest photograph or the biggest photograph, whether it is, uh, it is taken from the near one or the far one, it resembles only uh, elephant god that is Ganesha. Ganesha and Ganesha only. Not only that, not it is repeating not only Ganesha, it is giving out the vibrations. It is acting like a magnet. It is it is 
it is uh, pulling you towards its side and when you go there you don't feel like going away from there the moment i went nearby and when i touched the touch the touch the stone or touch the surface of that uh, mountain suddenly it it was absolutely blank blank there is nothing no thoughts are coming in my mind i it was only that uluru is existing there i am the only one there is nobody else another sadhguru is there because i i had become one with uluru ganesha tatva when the sun is rising that time we want to see uluru how does it look that was another greatest experience the sky suddenly when the sun is coming up first it was gray then it became, it became orange then it become coral red then it became pink so it was changing colors every moment ising unforgettable these moments virtually they are carved on your heart and you just cannot forget about this this is for the this is i will call lifetime achievement award which i have got after coming here
Yes, uh, that was also amazing. Yes, really, that uh, yeah, Kundalini was moving like this. Literally, Ma Parvati, which uh, Ganesha, and I felt it so nicely. First time. Then we went to evening time to Kata Yuta, okay. the Parvati Ma. Mm -hmm. I can't forget that view, the scenery, the impact, the image on me and the effect on me. When I went there, oh my God, so many things. You can see in one glance itself. It is very difficult to grab everything. But small, small pebbles, stones, this much, this much, this much, and it is compressed in such a way that it has become a rock. There it reminded me, Sri Mataji says, that all the Sajyogi are even living beings are the cell of my body. By seeing that rock, by seeing the image of that Parvati, and by seeing that rock, uh, uh, hill or the mountain itself, it is made of that. It shows that really Parvati contains each and everything in her body as self. The small pebbles were cell, nothing else. It is mine. From there, we went to uh, Kata, uh, Kata Juta, where Parvati Mata is there, where you can see Nandi, the bull which is sitting in front of, uh, uh, in front of Shiva. The mantra of Parvati Mata, you start getting vibrations, the full flow is there. And again, same, same state what you are getting, that means when you go to Uluru, you are getting benefit of three deities. That is Shiva, Parvati Mata, Father, Mother and the Son, that is Ganesha.
this trip to Australia was if you were travelling to Uruguay, like a great trip in Cheshire. Can you tell us your experience of going to Australia? A great experience, I would say, uh, because we went to, uh, by road and uh, it was, uh, we had a Brazil tour and it again a long journey by flight but we really get tired in that flight journey but by road towards Uluru it is very joyful we never feel tiredness we enjoy it because Dr. Pandekar had this dream and Sri Mataji blesses we feel that attention divine attention of Shri Mataji upon us and the whole journey was so so smooth so joyous and so energetic that we enjoy first the Shiva Swayambhu from far then we reach to the place then we uh, immediately get ready to go to the Ganesha Swayambhu we had small puja there we come back and we had a Sahastara Puja in our room, hotel room and that also lasted for uh, up to 1 o'clock at night still we are so energetic after traveling along and then uh, we did the uh, Parvati uh, Swayambhu and that also we did and it was so smooth then uh, and uh, I never, I personally uh, don't feel the tiredness and that energy, that bliss, everything, and uh, what we can say it is speechless. I think so. It is really speechless that experience, and I suggest uh, I I would uh, like to. Uh, tell to everyone to visit that place because it is a really speechless experience. This is a word. The complete sky was changing its color every second. And in the back side, I saw clouds are there, two rainbows are there. one this side, another that side, different color, different rainbows. And Pastel red to burgundy and spinifex to gold We've just come out of the Mulga where the planes forever roll And Albert and Amagira has painted all the scenes And Ashar has changed the luster of his land And it's raining on the rock In a beautiful country I'm proud to travel this big land Like an Aborigine And it's raining on the rock What an almighty sight to see And I'm wishing on a postcard That you were here with me The 
everlasting daisies and a beautiful desert road. Where does their beauty come from? Heaven knows. I could ask the wedge tail, but he's away too high. I wonder if he understands. It's wonderful to fly, and it's raining on the rock in a beautiful country. And I'm proud to travel this big land like an Aborigine. And it's raining on the rock. What an almighty sight to see. Wishing on a postcard that you were here with me. It cannot be described with a picture. Mesmerizing colors of the old birds, or the grandeur of the rock. Uluru has power, and it's raining on the rock in a beautiful country. And I'm proud to travel this big land like an Aborigine. Raining on the rock. What an almighty sight. But after visiting Uluru, I will say ki, yes, in last 20 years, why didn't I do it before? I should have done it almost at least 10 15 years before, and I, I would have been benefited more because once you are a Muladhara, that is starting of your Kundalini Shakti, that is base of your Sahajoga. If it becomes stronger, if it becomes pure, if it is becomes innocent, uh, uh, if the chest is there, then Kundalini to go up and go out of your frontal bone and get connected with the uh, all providing power is not difficult at all. And here I have achieved that and I am going to maintain that. And what I feel that anybody and everybody, the one who is a Sahajogi, the one who has got realization, he has to come and visit Uluru. It must be treated at par with our Makkah Madina. Those who can visit Uluru from bottom of uh, my heart, I'll say they must visit Uluru. In India, there are eight Ashtavinayaka Swayambhu. It is one of them. Uluru is one of them. That's why I'm telling everybody, you just go there and see and feel it. That's all. Actually, what I felt in Australia, always feeling so nice, calm and quiet. And now I'm talking to you, I'm feeling the Kundalini is dancing there. So many good people, so many deep sejogi, I'll say sometimes deep or mega sejogis. And uh, it is my luck that I had been with them. Here, tremendous vibrations, no doubt, but uh, the sejogis, their, their love, their compassion, and their depth in Sahaja Yoga. That Sahaja Yogis are here. They are really good by heart. And I felt very uh, proud. I'm amazed. Really, very. I feel very nice here. Every Sahaja Yogi, you must visit Australia. Australian Sahaja Yogis, Australian ashrams, how they are conducted. How they, uh, how is their behavior? How they are full of love and compassion. Every, every in every ashram, every ashram, I felt that. And what I'll say to Australian collectivity that your USP 
you Australia country is the only one who has got uluru with you so you must go there and you must propagate you must share your experiences with the whole world so that a day will come when the global collectivity that is surgery from almost all 150 countries they will start coming here and they will start worshiping Sri Mataji in front of Uluru that is Ganesh Tattva. This collectivity everybody goes for, uh, to Uluru then that means I don't have any doubt that next year or not more people will start coming and finally a day will come uh, almost 1000, 2000, 5000, 10,000 people will be there at Uluru the way we used to assemble there at Ganpati Pude. Amazing and out of this world we I mean I have no words actually. I never thought before coming to Australia, we never thought of this experience. We a few, uh, few days we are going back. So I am not going to forget everything because the love which we got from all the Sahajogis, all the ashrams, no words actually. No. You, you can't uh, experience that thing anywhere. You have to be there, everybody, in Australia also, and everybody, every such yogi from the world, I will say. That my such yogi brothers and sisters around the world must go there. I feel that way. Ganesha is inviting and waiting for you to bless. And that is what Mother says. After going there, we will get our depth. We will get the closeness with the Ganesha. Innocence. Then the purity and submission. And the love which we have to spread around the world. When I used to come from there, I used to weep. And the same condition was I found here with the Ganesha, Uluru Ganesha. Why not? Once more and more Sejogi will go there, the vibration will be working. And once we desire, we put this prayer to Sri Mataji. I hope our this desire is going to be fulfilled. That before coming to Australia, I had heard about Uluru, but I did not know how much important it is. Now that I have gone physically there, now that I have experienced this thing, I want all collectivity, all Sahajogis to be benefited. And what I feel, once Australian, every Sahajogi goes there, and once his Muladhara is established, once the Muladhara vibrations, they grow stronger, so stronger, it becomes magnetic and other Sahajogis from other countries, they get drawn towards Uluru. And they, when they start coming, finally it will become a world pilgrimage center, where Sahajogis from every country will be coming here, and after coming to Sahajoga, first he will come visit Uluru and then they will go back. It might turn into another Makamadina for Sahajogis.